You're watching 8-bit days a week. We're gonna be playing Tomb Raider. A classic. If you say Tomb Raider, you're gonna think of PlayStation. Or if you say PlayStation, you're gonna think of Tomb Raider. And it's definitely a missing title. Something that should have been part of the top 20 to begin with. Either uh, this one or the second one should be fine. Let me just go ahead and enable the show FPS and leaving everything else to default. Alright, anyway, with CG there is always no problem anyway. Well, so far, at least from my experience. Alright. Let's see if I still know where to go. It's been a while. I used to play this on the PC though, not on the PlayStation. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the actual gameplay, and uh, let's see, I'm excited. Alright, let me just check out the controls. Okay, things are, things are actually smooth. actually it actually looks great it's um, smoother than I remember oh come on uh, wait 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 I can do this if I could just remember the controls oh there we go Come on, where is the... Hey, why won't you pick it up? Ah, oh, finally. It's kinda hard to... Um... Because if you've tried the newer Tomb Raider games, actually, the controls are nothing like this. This is more like the classic Prince of Persia, but think of it in 3D style, third person. So you have to kind of telegraph your move. You have to predict. You're going to press the button a little bit earlier than... Uh, than you'd think. Otherwise, it may not come out in time and you'll just fall down to your death or something. Wait. Uh, I can't remember. I'm supposed to go here? So far, it plays really great, actually. It makes you wonder why they really did not include this already. Licensing issue, maybe? Or they just really... Uh, didn't bother, they were... 
kind of lazy with the selection. Well, I hope I'm going the right way. I just can't remember right now. There's a switch here, I think. There it is. And there should be like a bear behind that door. Or, no, oh, it's just a bat. And with a uh, little, t uh, little, actually no, with no tweaking at all, and it already plays this great. I wonder what more if you did some adjustments on your own. Of course, it could play worse, but it also could play even better, smoother than what we're seeing right now. And I can't remember where I should go first. Uh, oh look, the wolf. I'll shoot it down. And the problem with uh, these games before, if you're not using your look button all the time you would realize that you're one step away from death okay where's the wolf he just went away it's a good thing that your bullets are unlimited at least for one weapon your twin pistols Imagine if this had the weapon management of Resident Evil. I don't think anybody would enjoy playing this game if that's the case. Unless there's like little to no enemies. Okay. Can I actually run? Oh, you can. It's not going to fall down. Am I supposed to go there? Ah, uh, yeah, I think I should be going there. feels like you're driving a car but it's not a car that's how controls were back then what is that I don't recall what that is but I'll check it out so we have to run and then jump and then hit the grab button. Oh, okay. It's a save point. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I played this on the PC. And PC didn't have that. It was actually save anytime, anywhere, I think. Of course, doing so would mean you'll have to reload the game a lot of times as well. Um, okay, really dark place. Anyway, I think that should be it for this video. Um, I do recommend this if you're a fan of exploration and if you like to see like the, one of the definitive titles that defined, uh, you know, 
yeah exactly as I said that uh, what the PlayStation is known for back then the Tomb Raider series and the first one is one of the best you could probably have it on debate which one is better if this or the second one is the more enjoyable but either one should be a fine choice and um, all right thanks for watching 8-bit days a week please do like comment and subscribe catch me more videos of me trying out PlayStation 1 games on the PlayStation Classic. Thanks for watching.